Hello and welcome to another episode of Journey to the Chateau, to our new speaking friends here from around the world. Huge progress in the bathroom. Uh, we're almost finished. Wallpapering, uh, woodwork, mm -hmm. uh, vanity. vanity. It's one one step away from being finished. Yeah. Bonsoir tout le monde. Bienvenue à Journey to the Chateau de Calon. Uh, nun zu unseren Freunden vom deutschsprachigen Raum. Herzlich willkommen, neue Episode von Journey to the Chateau. Uh, und wir sind fast mit dem Badezimmer fertig. Hey, and now to uh, get back to English. We we did make the twenty five thousand. We did, yes. <laughs> and and it was it was kind of sad that it was only like a very short period of time after twenty minutes. Uh, it was yeah twenty minutes really? after the, the live stop. Oh, well. We went over twenty five thousand, but we are so next step fifty. That's right. <laughs> Why not? So take a look at our progress. Yes.
So things that still need to be done, mm -hmm. John. Right, electrics. Uh, John needs to get the uh, switches, uh, the switch and the uh, outlet right. hooked up and light fixtures. Yes, we have two sconces and then the chandelier. Right. Then that's completely done. Mm -hmm. uh, so early next week that will be finished. Mm -hmm. um, the bathtub, bathtub. What's that? The bathtub. Uh, sorry. Ah, uh, sometimes. Anyways, yeah. the bathtub needs to bath yes. tub needs That's to the go. Tub shower. Bathtub shower. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Needs to go in. Uh, I have one more tiling job to do tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Mirror needs to go up. And by early next week we'll have a fully functioning new bathroom. But yeah, then you will see the whole reveal. It's lovely. Right, right. Uh so you can see here. Oh. What else Patrick was busy doing? <laughs> Any more. Uh, just to mention what this uh, chutney is called. What, what, it's it's a, a hot, it's a hot spicy, and spicy fig chutney, and it is very spicy. Mm -hmm. This is not for the faint-hearted or the uh, people with a very uh, sensitive palate. This is a chutney that uh, it's quite a punch. It's really good. <laughs> Hello, welcome to another cooking segment here from the Chateau de Colomb. Uh, another fig uh, chutney recipe. I know, yet another one, but we have so many of them and it's delicious. Uh, this is a very different recipe. It is a spicy, and it is spicy, uh, fig chutney. Um, let me run through the recipe real quick. Uh, 500 gram grams of figs and uh, by the way I will have the recipe on the community page where I will also have the measurements uh, in pounds uh, so that is um, for our English and American speaking friends uh, so that that's a bit easier but um, again 500 grams of figs um, 100 gram of uh, fine, uh, peeled and finely chopped shallots uh, 100 milliliters of uh, red wine vinegar, 100 milliliters of apple cider vinegar, and 50 milliliters of uh, acido balsamico. Then we have one tablespoon of grated ginger, and I have um, the ginger that I use is dried. You can use fresh as well if you like to. Uh, one tablespoon of, or two of cinnamon. I like more, but it, uh, again, you make this recipe your own. Then one teaspoon of uh, red chili peppers, flakes, one teaspoon of black pepper and one teaspoon of cloves, which are the peppers, uh, black pepper and cloves, slightly toasted, 
don't burn them and then crunched fine and it will be very very spicy so this is a chutney for some special occasions where you need a, a good punch so for example uh, some goat cheeses it will go fantastic with uh, some meats for example pork or chicken it can give this a whole new dimension <laughs> trust me uh, i also put in uh, a good tea tablespoon sorry of dijon mustard uh it gives it a bit more tanginess and i think no that's not everything uh, it is 150 grams of sugar. <laughs> Good Lord, don't forget the sugar, otherwise it's very spicy and very sour. Anyways, I'm gonna get cracking and see how this turns out. So this is 12 times the amount that I'm giving in the recipe. Uh, that's why this is a lot of cloves and, and uh, black pepper, which I'm now gonna start toasting on a low flame. Uh -huh. Yes, so. The sugar. I like to actually add a little more sugar than is in this recipe. So instead of 100, I would maybe add 120, 130 grams. Uh, but that again, you do that to your taste, not to please the recipe. And that is about what I'm talking about. Maybe that. And of course I can already turn this on because it takes a long time for this to come to a boil. So, cinnamon. Uh, I don't even need to measure because this is, uh, for this amount, it is a lot of cinnamon and it just smells delicious. This is a very strong uh, recipe. It's not for the lighthearted, so to speak. Grated ginger. This is lovely because it has this little grate on the top, which makes it harder to pour out larger amounts. So just take it out. So this is uh, cayenne pepper flakes, slightly ground, to give it a bit more heat. Actually, quite some heat. Now, since this is very tangy, supposed to be very tangy in any case, I'm adding Dijon mustard. It's my favorite. It's very spicy, it's uh, very pungent, and that is exactly what I want for this recipe. And last but not least, I'm adding the vinegars. Okay, that is toasted. And last but not least, 
balsamic vinegar, which also gives us a beautiful color. It's really, really lovely. And again, another layer of tanginess. It's fantastic. So now let this come to a boil. And as I said, that will take a while. And while I'm doing that, while I'm waiting for that, I will crush those seeds and put them in here as well. And then we'll see when the chateau smells like Nirvana. It's delicious. I mean, it, you can smell it in the, even in the staircase upstairs. It's absolutely fantastic. And I'll get back when it actually comes to a boil. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, another tiny okay. part of the tiny home. batch. Yes. Okay, I might use this in a bit to scrape things out. Okay. So what I did here before, uh, I did add pectin. I like the chutney to be very thick and uh, that is up to taste. Pectin is made out of apples, so I don't know there's uh, people who think pectin is some kind of a horrible thing. I don't. Um, no, pectin actually, actually is a natural yes. ingredient. So. so pectin is in apples. Um, I will make one more chutney and that is a chutney with a lot of apples in it too so I don't think I will need pectin there uh, and I do have my puree stick that I use I'm already making a mess on the oh dear there mm. I just want to try it how about it how is that Delicious. But this is really spicy. <laughs> little ones. We do little ones. May I? Oh, yep. Thank you. We are recording this very, very late, by the way, because we had um, someone coming here that uh, uh, a lovely lady, her name is Christelle, organized for us uh, to put inserts into the chimney so we can actually use uh, wood burning inserts, right. uh, freestanding free uh, in the two salons and maybe even in the dining room, which is much more difficult. But so that, so that, of course, everything takes longer because there are a lot of measurements involved and you don't want someone to give you a quote that is, you know, put together in five minutes for everything that needs to be done. Right. So that took like an hour and a half to mm -hmm. go through everything and showing him the, the inserts that we already have with the, the poil, the wood burners. Mm -hmm. And so let's see what, what comes out of that. I, I hope very nice gentlemen so i hope that this works out mm -hmm. uh so we can actually heat three additional rooms with wood right which we have plenty of yes during this winter it would be lovely um to at least sometimes heat up the the salons and just sit down read a book who am i kidding <laughs> <laughs> oh man when we have company heat up the rooms sit there have a good conversation, have a good laugh, yeah, listening to music, and 
those, those few moments that, or evenings that we can actually steal away from working or you creating vlogs right. or me answering uh, comments, which there, there are sometimes people say, well, you know, wh why are you still answering almost every comment? Quite frankly, it's, it's simple. From the get-go, we have had all these wonderful supporters and we try to, as long as we can, to really uh, respond to people because it's uh, we just think it's lovely and we enjoy the, the comments. So we want to recognize the effort people are, like you are putting in when they actually write comments. Yeah. It's lovely. Yeah. So that's it for this episode. Yes. Uh, if you like, please give us a thumbs up. Absolutely. Uh, recommend us to your friends. You can send share uh, invitations so that we can inch our way up to 50,000 subscribers. <laughs> yes, and please subscribe if you haven't. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe. And you can join us on Patreon if you want to support the renovation of the Chateau. Right, or you can buy us a coffee. Absolutely. And we will see you on Wednesday. Yes, thank you so much. Au revoir. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye. Goodbye. If you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you would like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.